Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and I welcome back my community out there. You are awesome. So today we are talking about PDF Expert and why it is a note-taking app. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about going paperless. So just watch this video and then it would be awesome if you join the Paperless Movement and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's just dive into it. Okay, let's dive into it. So many of you know PDF Expert. You can import PDFs. It is seamlessly integrated into Spark and you can, you know, come from all over the place. And what really is good about PDF Expert that you can add all those clouds you are having there into PDF Expert. So the which allows you to access your PDFs from wherever you are. So if, for example, if you're using Google Drive, you go to any other device like a Windows PC or anything, you put in your PDF, it will appear in your PDF Expert or you can exit it, access it from there and annotate it. And that's all about PDF Expert, annotation and editing of PDFs. But today I will talk about its cap capabilities to use it as a handwriting note-taking app. So because I'm not sure if many of you know this already. So what you have here, if you, if you go for example in the in the just in the manual from PDF Expert, you see green highlights there. So you can just change this in your options menu. If you go to options uh, PDF, you see highlight links, yes or no. And if you just switch this off, the green will disappear. We just leave it on for the moment. So we see the hyperlinks much easier because I want to show you something as I'm talking about uh, handwriting. You can access here on the side the pen tool and start to start to write something down and you have predefined pens on the side you have an eraser and you have a hand to move around so that's already something amazing but what i really like about this is here that you can move around the toolbar that's really something amazing and i think that's something other note-taking apps like no shelf and so on should also offer to make it freely movable i think notes plus uh, offers this as well and what this means i am able this way as a right right-handed writer to write something down and on the same time to undo it on the left side with my thumb or switch to the eraser and just erase it so that's what I really like about uh, this way of note-taking here with PDF Expert. So why do I show you the hyperlinks? Okay, you know PDF is working like this and you see the hyperlinks. If you have access to hyperlinks and it's also going into your browser and so on, you are able to use digital journals. And as uh, many of you in my community know, I'm selling uh, actually digital journal. Um, there are many out there, different kinds of, so you don't need to have mine, but there are plenty of them. The difference from mine from to the others is it's very simplistic. Yeah, it's very clean. Many of you in, in my uh, community are um, working in offices, having meetings and so on. So they don't like to have fancy stuff. So I really like this clean look of the journal here designed by Overworked Father. So if you could just swipe over, you come to the overview of the year and there you see already the highlight from the green. Of course, you can switch it off so it looks nice, but um, just for the purpose of showing you. And then you just tap on July, for example, you jump to the overview from the uh, overview of the month of July. And then we go to the 5th of July which is today while I'm doing this video and then you can just start writing and as I said it is possible it is and as you can see it is even better there because you can make full screen so we can really just have the note here and on the bottom you have a daily tracker of about your mood and how the weather was and so on that's just something extra okay but that's not what is going about i just wanted to show it is possible to use a digital journal in there because many of you want to use a daily journal where you just write down what you have done every day so if you click on if you tap on this you go back to the overview and back to the year so if you're interested to getting this to journal, I have the link in the description below where you can get it. Um, I think that's really something nice. And as you can see, you can use it easily in PDF Expert and annotate it. What 
uh, PDF Expert also offers uh, these uh, uh, um, general diagram making so you can easily do this it even snaps to your uh, thing to the to the arrow and um, then you can write down you have four different favorite styluses so you can predefine your stylus to switch easily between them you have a highlighter so you can highlight text easily so you see um, if you have a pdf there or let's go back to the pdf expert thing here so you can easily highlight you can easily underline you can easily strike through so that these are the normal um, pdf expert annotation things it's really nice because you can edit your pdfs afterwards but what this means you can just save these for your journal for example if you save this journal in your g drive yeah and this is your lo the location of your journal anytime you're doing any notes in there it will update on your g drive and it will be available as a pdf so that's the great thing about it you're changing the pdf and it will be available as pdf and all your windows users out there know what i mean if there is no or um, what else is not i think what is it is it note shelf not available on mac i'm not sure where you can't access your notes if they are not exported as pdf and if they don't have a backup function or auto backup function so in this case you always have a pdf available and you can process it further on other uh, devices so you're using pdf expert on a mac fine you're writing something down there you're in your meeting with your laptop you want to type down anything there so you can keep going like this and this is why i think it's worth to add the pdf expert 6 ios app to my comparison table on my website where you find loads of reviews uh, about these note-taking apps and you can just click on these note-taking apps and you see all the features they have like audio recognition or handwriting recognition and so on and then you even can just select these apps and compare it next to each other so pdf expert will get this pl its place there it will also give you all the details about what pdf expert in regarding handwriting note taking uh, is capable of and um, yeah feel free to check this out and make up your mind if you want to buy any other app or not talking about handwriting recognition well pdf expert offers um, indexing or it recognizes text and pdf and so on but not your handwriting yet so I know they are working on it. There's no uh, uh, timeline or anything when they will finish doing this. But as you know, many of these other note-taking apps I reviewed offering handwriting recognition in the meanwhile, usually they're using the algorithm from MyScript, the makers of Nibu. So they can implement it into their apps and this way they will get handwriting recognition available. And I'm sure um, they will make this as well. One more important thing. Um, you know, I showed you now the journal how to use it and that you can annotate with your handwriting, in, annotate with your handwriting in the PDFs. However, you also got on the right button here the plus sign where you can just add a file. And if you click on this, many users using handwriting noting apps know this, you can choose a paper template. So in this case, we just can choose a grid and then you choose note style yellow or the blueprint. So we go for a white and there you go. You get a, a fully integrated um, template and a new document, which is called with the node number and the date. You can change afterwards, obviously. And then you can just write in there as you are used to it. Siri, I don't need you. So that's uh, something really nice. So you can even do quick notes this way. So I hope you liked the video and you are surprised as I was <laughs> that PDF Expert offers all these things. If I missed anything regarding handwriting in PDF Expert, leave a comment below. If you want me to make a more in-depth uh, review of the iOS app PDF Expert or the Mac app um, of PDF Expert, just let me know. I have both and I will do a video about this for you guys out there. Okay, see you next time. Stay tuned.